Good morning. It's the Lando Gardner coming at you. And it's that time, y'all. Time to talk about a variety. Not you, sweetheart. I just moved you. Be still. Your review is later. What did we come to talk about? This tree. I have been hinting at doing a video on this tree for quite some while. And it's time. Sunrise. Sunrise mango. Um, nothing but good things to say about this tree. There's some bad things to say about when you back up into needles, though. <laughs> uh, pineapple thorns. But this tree is thumbs up. Uh, this tree was slow to produce. It produced every year at the very bottom of the tree. Um, but the fruit never made it. And finally this year, it was absolutely loaded. On a scale of 1 to 10 with the production, I give the production a 10 as it stands right now. And since it has started producing, um, I give the, the fruit size on this tree. I give the fruit size a 10. And that's yucca, y'all. Way up, that leaning way over. I let it go and it come right back. <laughs> I'm giving you a full view of this tree. But what I really want to get to today is the taste. Y'all in the mango community, we have a big problem. What's the big problem? It's a good problem. This is a good mango, y'all. It surprised me this year. Um, if you call most mango groves and you ask them what's, what is their number one selling fruit, they're going to tell you carry. Believe me, I've tried it. I'm not talking about what's on demand. I'm talking about what is... Uh, What's their number one as far as sales and requested? It's carry. Well, this thing is similar to carry. It's a very, 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 very juicy mango. Very juicy, kind of citrusy. And it tastes more like carry than some of Carrie's daughters, like Tess Pollock. Tess Pollock, you know, has its own thing, but this thing is something else. Um, I'm not telling everybody to run out to the nearest nursery and get your, get your, uh, sunrise mango tree, but I'm, I'm here to tell you, um, this thing is getting good reviews across the board. Uh, there are some friends of mine that have YouTube channels. <laughs> of course, Craig and Celeste, Cicada Grove. Uh, they did a review, taste testing on the fruit tree, on the fruit, and they loved it. And then if you go back and you look at my friend Chris, our friend Chris from Truly Tropical, um, she did a review on how at first it wasn't very, it wasn't very tasty, but then all of a sudden it turned around and it turned out to be something fabulous. And I would agree. And I almost dug this thing up. I really did. I almost dug it up because it just wasn't producing. But this thing has turned around my thoughts. And uh, it is a it's a great treat. It is a, a great fruit, a great fruit. And um, just want to let you all know uh, about this tree. Um, I have zero complaints about this tree. You know, this this is almost like a 10, you know, all, all the way across the board. The taste in, yeah, you know, I, I ain't going to get a 10, but it's, it's right there close. 
you know, it's according to what day you're catching on. Uh, it's between a, a eight and a ten ish. <laughs> but just wanted to share that with you all. Um, this tree here is three years old and you see how tall it is. It's probably about at its widest, um, probably about seven feet wide and about, mm, probably about, uh, probably about seven feet tall. And, uh, uh, sunrise mango tree, um, it get a uh, two thumbs up for me. Just wanted to share that with y'all. Y'all have a good one.